Hi, I'm Rich Breckner with Inside HPC. I'm here at SC10 at the Next.io booth, and I'm here with Casey Murphy. Casey is the CEO of Next.io. Welcome, Casey. Hi, Rich. Nice to have you here. Great. You know, uh, Casey, I, I met up with you guys for the first time at ISC last June, and we got to shoot a really cool video right. about your GPU management right. solutions. What's new since then? Well, um, we got a couple of new platforms we're showing. Uh, three, as a matter of fact. The first one's here on your right. This is a, uh, the world's first NVIDIA M2070 based uh, platform. Uh, hooks to any computer. It's four uh, M2070s in a box in a 1U chassis. Uh, this can also take M2050s. So essentially you get two, two for one, two products out of one. The other platform we have is here behind me. This is uh, probably the world's densest uh, GPU offering. Uh, it's targeted more at the enterprise data centers. Uh, we also made an announcement around these products that the, uh, the channels of distribution which have essentially been in place uh, are still there for uh, both products and uh, so these are available worldwide and we're ready to go. Well great, you know this box looks familiar. <laughs> I, I mean didn't NVIDIA uh, come out with this thing and give it to you guys to sell and build, <laughs> how did that work? You're very observant, Rich. Yeah, so NVIDIA used to uh, offer this uh, in what they called their Tesla platform. Um, and uh, we partner with NVIDIA. They pass that business over to us, so we now support the, uh, the one you form factor that you used to get from NVIDIA. We call this uh, designed by NVIDIA, sold by Next.io. Okay. Well, let's talk a little bit about virtualization, because when I think of virtualization, I think of companies like VMware, and I think the HPC community, that they read about it, but they might not have much exposure. How does I.O. virtualization work in that context? That's a great question. I hear virtualization all the time, and everybody uses it different ways, so it's confusing. Um, VMware is a very good uh, example of virtualization. They, uh, they sort of pioneered this by taking uh, the, the concept of using uh, unused hardware on the processor side and being able to present that unused hardware, spare cycles, as a new server. And uh, they've obviously been very successful at that. We do essentially the same thing on the other side of the chipset. Where VMware can't reach through the chipset to affect physical hardware, we pick it up over on that side and we can take a pool of resources, any resource that's PCI Express based, and essentially present it to a pool of servers on the other side. Okay, so w when I think of I.O., I think of storage. Should we go take a look at what you got over there in the storage area? Sure, let's go. All right. Okay, Casey, why don't we talk about the, the storage here? I understand this is one fast box. What's, uh, what's going on here? Rich, I'm really proud of this box. Back in April, we demonstrated uh, five terabytes running two million IOPS. That was a world record at the time. Here we are just a handful of months later, doubling both density and performance. This box offers 10 terabytes of SSD flash storage at 4.2 million IOPS. This is the world's fastest, densest uh, flash storage solution on the face of the earth. So you doubled that performance in six months? Doubled that performance in six months with the help of our partner Fusion IO. Well, that's great. Now is this available through the same channels then? Uh, today we're just offering, we're just showing this as a performance demo, okay. but uh, stay tuned. I might not see it till ISC in June of 2011. What's going to be happening at Next IO between then and now? Well, um, as I mentioned, we think of I.O. as a pool of resources, any type of technology. Uh, we've shown today GPUs, solid state storage, but when you think about an enterprise data center, think about other types of storage, SAS, SATA, fiber channel, Ethernet, all sorts of things that could go in a box like this and be virtualized and presented to that rack of servers. Pretty cool. Uh, well, I, I, I do have to ask you about the car. <laughs> okay, these guys got the fastest vehicle on the show floor, probably the fastest vehicle in this whole city. Uh, what, what do you got here? What is that? Well, this is uh, uh, a friend of uh, Next.io who happens to be a uh, famous racer, race car driver. Uh, he's kind of a neighbor to us in our home base in Austin, and he was kind enough to bring his toy along. Uh, and as you said, if we're talking about fast, he was the best logo we could find to say fast. 